It's official, Dubai has the world's fastest police car, and it rockets down the desert roads at up to 253 miles per hour. The Middle Eastern oasis isn't dubbed the city of gold for nothing. Besides literally being able to withdraw gold from ATMs, Dubai also boasts an incredible array of luxury supercars. But it's not just the royals and residents who cruise around in multi-million dollar vehicles. For more than a decade, the Dubai police force has been collecting and showing off some of the fastest, most expensive, and most eye-catching cars on the planet. From Ferraris to Bugattis, Aston Martins, and McLarens, let's drift into the luxury world of Dubai's law enforcement. Let's go. So we've got Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and more supercars than any other government on the planet. But let's skip over those um, mid-tier supercars and head straight to the top. The undisputed flagship of the Dubai police fleet, and unequivocally, the fastest police car on the face of the earth. Folks, cast your eye toward the stunning piece of automotive art that is the Bugatti Veyron. With a roaring 16-cylinder engine that produces a whopping 1,000 horsepower, this lightning-quick cop car can zoom from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. Put the pedal to the metal and the Bugatti reaches, ready for this, 253 miles per hour. That's over 407 kilometers and significantly faster than Japan's bullet train's operating speeds, just to put things in perspective. Here's the thing, though. Rarely will you catch Dubai's $3 million Veyron rocketing down Sheikh Zayed Road. In fact, rarely will you see it hauling criminals to the local cop shop in the back seat, either. For the most part, the Veyron and many of the other cars you'll see today simply cruise around the Jumeirah Beach residence and Dubai Mall area in search of tourists and attention. The trophy for the world's fastest police car didn't always sit on Dubai's mantle, though. Before the city unveiled its prize Veyron, that title belonged to the Italian police force. At the time, their $200,000 Lamborghini Gallardo produced a top speed of 230 miles per hour. Speaking of Lamborghini, say hello to the Dubai police's beloved Aventador. This all-wheel drive monster powered by a 691 horsepower mid-mounted V12 engine can shoot from 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, maxing out at a sizzling top speed of 217 miles per hour. How much does one of these bad boys cost? About the equivalent of 16 Toyota Priuses, or in dollar figures, a scintillating $400,000. Usually, we'd see Aventadors being chased by the police, not the other way around. But of course, this is Dubai we're talking about, a city where opulence, style, and exclusivity are the name of the game. All right, motor enthusiasts, moving on to our next set of jealousy-evoking wheels, say hello to the BMW i8. This hybrid speed demon joined the Dubai police fleet back in 2015 and has been catching bad guys, turning heads, and revving its engine ever since. The German car, which goes for around $150,000, runs off a mid-mountain engine connected to two electric motors that generate 357 horsepower and propel the beast from 0 to 60 in just 4.4 seconds. Not too shabby. It's not the only BMW in the fleet, though. The city also owns a BMW M6, painted in the classic green and white, which comes with 560 horsepower, a top speed of 190 miles per hour, and a sinister price tag of $125,000. It wouldn't be a collection of supercars without at least one Ferrari, now would it? Taking its place at the Dubai Police HQ is this fine specimen, the Ferrari FF, that rocks a V12 engine and puts out 650 horsepower. The all-wheel drive car accelerates from 0 to 60 in just 3.4 seconds, close enough to 208 miles per hour, or 335 kilometers for all the metric system people out there. And in typical Ferrari fashion, it's not cheap either cashing in at close to $130,000. Next up, we've got the eye-catching Audi R8 V10, an enhanced performance engine vehicle that shoots from zip to 60 in 3.9 seconds. The same engine, in fact, sits inside the Lamborghini Gallardo. Why would any police force need a car that can drive at speeds of over 205 miles per hour? Not to chase down criminals on the run, but just like the rest of the fleet, to show off to the tourists, plain and simple. Clearly, the R8 was a hit, because after the city went out and bought one, they loved it so much that they decided to buy a second. Throw in the pair of Audi Q7s, each valued at over 50 k and we get quite the Audi showcase. Alongside the collection of Audis, buckle up for your next enviable Dubai cop car, the Ford Mustang. 
While not as lightning fast as the other head turners in the fleet, the Mustang still deserves a mention for its reputation alone. When the authorities bought this green and white demon back in 2013, it would have set them back close to $25,000. However, considering that 22% of the $15 billion Dubai budget goes towards security, justice, and safety, there's plenty of cash to go around. Drifting around our next corner, cast your eye toward the beautiful McLaren MP4-12C. The Dubai police force added one of these British marbles to its fleet back in December of 2013, and it's been turning heads ever since. But hey, what $400,000 car wouldn't, right? This luxury model, again covered in the city's colors, boasts eye-catching scissor doors, a 3.8-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine, and a roaring top speed of over 200 miles per hour. Not too shabby. But as fast as it is, it comes up just short of Dubai's landmark Bentley, the ultra-luxurious Continental GT. This British car comes packed with 616 horsepower and a max speed of 205 miles per hour, equal to 330 kilometers. While its exterior might seem relatively subdued, one look at its exquisite interior and you'll quickly understand why this symbol of extravagance sells for over $200,000. While that might seem expensive, like more expensive than any car we'd ever probably own, compared to the police's next menacing set of wheels, it's pennies. Introducing the Aston Martin 177. As its name suggests, it's one of just 77 models ever produced. With such high demand and low supply, it's no surprise that this car comes with one mighty large price tag. For the full carbon fiber chassis, handcrafted aluminum body, and all the extra fancy touches in the cabin, the Emirate would have forked out a whopping $1.5 million for this 220 mile per hour car. Clearly, the city of gold has no trouble splashing out its cash on high-tech luxury vehicles. No other police force in the region, scratch that, in the world can compare to the luxury on display through Dubai's roster of law enforcement vehicles. But why is that the case? Are million-dollar supercars really necessary to catch fugitives on the run? The short answer is no, they're absolutely not. And that's not why the Sheik commissioned all these cars in the first place. Since introducing the Lamborghini Aventador in 2013 as the city's first police supercar, the government has used high-cost vehicles as a means to break down the barriers between the public and the police, and of course for some extra publicity for the city. In the words of the Sultan, we're not just looking to show off with the car, we're looking to show tourists how friendly the police is here in Dubai. On the other side of the coin, it's incredibly prestigious for manufacturers to land a spot in the Dubai police fleet. With so many eyes staring in awe, it's essentially free marketing. Seems to be working a treat if it's landing a spot on the richest, right? When it comes to Dubai supercars, the police stand out. But there's another element to the city's reputation for vehicles, and it's not one that they're necessarily proud of. Take a look. Approximately 2,000 to 3,000 cars are abandoned in Dubai each year, making it one of the world's richest scrapyards. If we wind the clock back to the peak of the global financial crisis well over a decade ago, that's when it all began. Under Dubai law at the time, people who failed to pay a loan were at risk of a lengthy jail sentence. So whenever car enthusiasts lost their jobs, rather than risk time behind bars, they fled the region, leaving their prized possessions behind to collect dust. Tens of millions of dollars simply sat abandoned in Dubai Airport's parking lot, eventually taken to the junkyard. Bonus fact time! The most expensive production car in the world as of 2021 is the Pagani Huayra Tricolore at a scorching $6.5 million. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.